Yo, what's going on YouTube? Thank you for coming to another episode of Autoholics. All right, today we got my boy Antoine Brown out here with his beautiful 95 right. Chevrolet Impala, AKA Black China. I want to get into a lot, a uh, lot on this one, but I'm gonna let him tell me about it. Now, before Antoine started talking, before I let him have a show, this segment right here is a little important to me as much as it is to my viewers to bring the Impala community back into existence because um, this, at once upon a time, we pretty much dominate the road. A lot of people already know that. Uh, for those who don't, now you know. Um, and a lot of the new movies that are coming out are featuring um, our cars. So I figured it was, it, it just paid homage to my folks, to my uh, to my clique who I hang with. Um, it, it was just a, a paying homage, you know, bringing them back, bringing y'all a uh, close up scene to what y'all been seeing out in the movies. We bring it to you live and in person. All right, but anyway, let me stop talking. Antoine, tell me a little bit about your vehicle, bro. Well, it's a 1995 Impala, Chevrolet Impala. Uh, you know, they only made them three years, 94 through 96, and this is my baby right here, Black China, my 95. <laughs> All right. Now, you know, I've been knowing you for a, a good little minute on the forum and stuff, and, you know, we finally linked up when you moved um, across the river from where I'm living, where we're at in Columbus, Georgia. And uh, I remember when um, we first met up at Megafest, this car didn't look nothing like this interior-wise. I mean, it was it was a project. Right. So tell us why what all you done had done to it so far. Well, since Megafest, well, I had the car going on six years now. When I got it, it was a project, it needed paint, interior, it needed everything, transmission, motor work. So over the five years, I just took my time and just bought piece by piece and, uh, you know, put boxes against the wall and just, until I got everything, I just took my time. But when we went to Megafest, since then, I done got uh, my chair. I took it to Ivan Andrews out of Atlanta and Paula, um, and Paula Parts, and Paula yeah. SS Parts on Instagram, and he did my interior over. Um, my guy Stan out of Albany, you can look him up on Facebook, Stanley Earl. He did my paint, uh, ordered my wheels offline, uh, my steering wheel from uh, Forever Forever Sharp, mm -hmm. and that's about it. Okay, you okay. Know? So yeah, so I ain't gonna lie. So since then, uh, Black China done really took a whole. She done had a facelift. <laughs> I appreciate that. She have. She have. Yeah, she done. She done been injected with a whole lot of Impala SS stuff, like, yeah, we, like, like, like how we do. I, I, you know, we we do put our spin on them. Yeah. All right, let's get back a little bit back to the norm on the show. Okay, um, how, about how much you done spent on it so far? If I had to put a number on it, I say I'm probably. 14, 15,000 in. Okay, cool, cool. Nothing outrageous. Nothing outrageous. I stay in my own lane. I'm a working man. You know what I'm saying? I got kids, a wife, a household. So I just do what I can do when I can do it. And I just mind my business, stay in my lane. That's it. That's what's up. All right. What uh, and who inspired your uh, auto addiction? My dad and my granddaddy. Okay. My dad always had black cars, Escalades, Mercedes. He's just a car guy. He ain't an old school guy, but he's a car guy. So growing up, I always seeing him with cars, and my granddad always had Cadillacs and um, Chevrolet 1500s. He always kept them some fresh. So they really inspired me to get in the car game like that. Okay, okay. So, so my granddad and um, my dad. That's what's up. That's kind of how we are with our kids right now. They yeah. see us see us doing it, and they they latch exactly on to. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Okay, big question. Stop versus custom and why? Me, I'm gonna go custom slash stop. You gotta put your little touch on it. For me, my my preference, my opinion. I like it, keep it a little custom, but keep it basically stop. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep mine as original as it can be, but throw my little touch, you know, flow mask steering wheel, just a little accessories that can make yours stand out from the next man. That's it, but it really don't matter. As long as you got a SS, we don't care how they look. It could be anything. Just get out and ride and enjoy. True, true. All right. All right. Now, let me ask you the big question, man. I know everybody already know where I'm going with this. I done asked everybody a million and one time, so hey, y'all already know what he probably going to say. Hey, Antoine, you think you can get over your auto addiction, man? No. <laughs> I, I mean... 
I want to so bad, but I just can't. I love it too much. My wife, she is not a car woman. <laughs> she don't care nothing about it. She don't care if you paint it, you don't, your rims, your interior. She don't care nothing about it. She just want to go. But I'll never get over car dish. Matter of fact, I'm trying to buy something else right now. I know that right. <laughs> we ain't gonna tell her that. We ain't gonna tell her that. We're gonna say that for YouTube. <laughs> like, you know, 10 episodes died. Like, right, hey, baby, right. let, 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 let me show you my episode today. I've been told you. <laughs> I've been told you. All right, that's what's up. Man, Antoine, I appreciate the big us for finally coming on out here, getting this, no this pretty car set up for us, bruh. I know everybody likes the black. The black is the deal. So I figured, hey, my boy got a black one clean. Yep. Let me get him out here on the show. It's hard to keep them clean, though, but when they clean, they clean. They clean. I when they, they dirty, do. they dirty. They dirty. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Well, everybody, that's it for this edition of our Autoholics 101. Tune in next week to see the next ride, but you already know I'm not going to give no sneak peeks. You know you got to tune in and subscribe to see the next ride. I uh, appreciate it again, Antoine, no man. And hey, we're going to go out here and probably do some cruising today since it's all pretty and stuff. And we got uh. enough people out here to kind of, you know, help us out with this. So <laughs> we're going to probably burn the strip just a little bit because me and this man been a long time trying to get, get these things yes, together. Yes, <laughs> yes, all right. Appreciate it, my brother. I'll see you next time. Ain't no problem. Peace.